That's what you got to tell yourself. You're completely relaxed. You're able to see everything that's going on. Your sense of anticipation is sharp. And that can't happen unless you're relaxed. A man who's thinking and worrying about getting hit is not going to have a good sense of anticipation. Man. He will, in fact, get hit. And most important, when you get hit, like you, get excited. When you get hit, bang, you get, oh, you get excited and your head comes up, your hands. When you get hit, that's when you got to be calmest. That's when you got to be calmest. When you get hit. A professional fighter has got to learn how to hit and not get hit. At the same time, be exciting. That's what professional boxing is about. You got to be clever, you got to be smart, and not get hit. And when you're able to do this, you're a fighter. Peace. It's your boy, Romello Scuds, E. Russ, Outspoken 520 Boxing. Want to give a recap of last night's fight for the IBL, for the vacant IBL lightweight 135 strap between Vasily Lomachenko versus George Cambosis Jr. But before I give a recap, I just want to say happy Mother's Year. I don't say day. I say year because a mother's job is all year round. It's not a particular day or a certain day that a mother does his job as being a mother. But happy Mother's Year to y'all, to all the surrogate, biological, spiritual uh, mentors who, who influence you as a mother all y'all just happy uh, Mother's Year to y'all. Y'all the best. Y'all inspirational. Y'all uh, y'all have drive. Y'all determined. Y'all do what it takes to be a mother all year round. Just want to say happy Mother's Year to y'all. But now to the recap of the fight of last night. Vasily Lomachenko got the 11th round TKO stoppage. Uh, he's the new IBF lightweight 135 champion. What do I think about this fight? Um, Lomachenko just gave us a reminder how great he is, um, with his angles, uh, his killer instinct, um, and how he closed the fight. Lomachenko put a masterclass of a performance last night. Um, it just gave us a, a reminder, um, it may not show versus the Devin Haney fight or the Tia Fimo fight. But uh, it showed last night, I, as I mentioned in my predictions, George Cambosis had to go to the body and had to use his jab and give uh, Lomachenko different looks. Instead of his patience and counterpunching, he had to show Lomachenko a different look. He did it for a split second, but then he went back to his old ways. It's just how fighters are when... <laughs> Uh, someone that's great like Lomachenko is taking away your strengths. You got to go back to your old ways, which you used to. And that's what Lomachenko did. He had the range. He had the body shots. And his power punching was so accurate and was so high percentage. Uh, according to Copybots, it was like 55% of power punching. That's insane. That's very insane. Um, I had it. Before the eleventh round, I had it uh not ten one maybe no nine one something like that. Uh, George Camp bosses, I liked him in the sixth round. Uh, he did some things that I kind of like. That's the round that I gave him. But besides that, Lomachenko was just in control. Um, it was in his rhythm and it was at his speed. He was coming at him with different variations of punches. It was. Slow, get fast. It, it was just he was just showing them so many looks that George Camp bosses was just out of sorts. Um, he could figure him. He could have figured uh, Lomachenko out. So he had to go back to his old ways um, as being the counter puncher and trying to find something, trying to find that that one punch. And George Camp bosses is not known for his power, so he had to do what he had to do. And Loma was just that great, so. But what does this mean for the 135 division? Uh, Loma's back in the mix. Like I said, I said in my predictions, if Loma win this fight, he is back in the mix in the 135 division. Um, he got some options. Uh, Tank Davis had chimed in on the fight. He tweeted that uh, after he take care of Frank Martin, he fight he fighting Frank Martin June 15th, June 15th in Vegas. 
um, for the WBO. No, I'm sorry, for the WBA strap uh, next month. And Shakur Stevenson fighting July 6th for the WBC strap. So, and William Zapata is fighting for the vacant WBO lightweight strap. So, it's a loaded 135 division. Loma could go different directions. He could go for the bag, or he could go for a legacy. And watching uh, Loma for a long time, he liked legacy better than money. He always go for the big fights. Ever since he returned, ever since he became pro, he been fighting for world titles. I mean, beating Gary Russell Jr. and so on. So, um, what do I think he should, who I think he should fight next? Uh... I don't think he's going to fight Shakur Stevenson, not because he's scared or nothing, because top rank just don't give the satisfaction to black fighters. I'm going to call it a spade a spade. Um, it always been like that. Just just look at the history of top rank. When Floyd was with him and Bud was with him, uh, top rank, and they just give black fighters the cold shoulder. So if William, I mean, I'm sorry, if... Uh, Emmanuel Nebavate, uh beat um, the fighter that he's fighting next Saturday, the same uh, night as Olozana Usyk versus Tyson Fury for Undisputed Heavyweight Showdown happening next week, the same day. If he beats the guy he's fighting, then I can see Loma versus Emmanuel Nebavate, uh fight maybe later this year. So I don't think he's going to fight Shakur Stevenson. Shakur got the... When I think about Shakur, I think he has to leave top rank. It's just plain and simple. Um, I can see him with Eddie Hearn. I can see him with PBC, too. So, I think PBC or Eddie Hearn would get him the fights that he wants. Of course, he wants uh, Tank Davis. Of course, he wants Lomachenko. So, and I think Eddie Hearn or Al Heyman will make that happen. So, but that's what I think about last night's fight. And before I sign off... I just want to give, not a shout out, but just give a bad, bad look to the ring announcer last night for the disgusting Steve Harvey shenanigans that he pulled last night for the women's, um, for the women's title fight, as he called the wrong winner. And he read, uh, he read the uh, scores right, but it was for the wrong person. But then he switched it to the right person. It was disgusting. Um, Ty Rank just showing how cheap they are. Where's Michael Buffer at? Where's uh Jimmy Lemon Jr. at? Where's where's they at? You know, because they are they are the best ring announcers in the business. And you give this amateur who screwed up on the card that's given to you to announce the winner and the score. I just don't understand that. How can you mess that up? You don't mess that up. You don't screw that up. But but that's all I got. Uh, Loma's the new IBL champion. He's in the mix. And subscribe to the channel. I spoke at 525. So I'm on YouTube, IG, Facebook. Hit that bell button to link to see the videos or the upcoming videos or notifications whenever I do new content. But I'm Romello Scuds, eat Russ, I spoke at 520. Be safe, enjoy your day. Peace and blessings, one.